Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number two, microorganisms, and today I will deliver its 10th lecture. But before that, let's recap what we have done in the previous lecture. Uh, today we will discuss about the benefits of microorganisms, but let's recap what we did in the previous lecture. So, you have observed the degradation of waste um, you throw. आपने uh, previous lecture में degradation जो है वो check की थी, जो हम waste जो है वो फेंकते हैं. So uh, कैसी क्या observe किया था आपने उसके अंदर? Which type of material can uh, decompose and which type of cannot? Quickly pause the video and answer. Very good. Now which color of fungi you observed on किचन वेस्ट आपने किचन वेस्ट के ऊपर किस कलर की फंजाई को नोटिस किया था आई व्हेन आई ऑब्जर्व इट इट वाज ग्रीन एंड अ लिटिल वाइट सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड सो इस्लामिक पर्सपेक्टिव आई स्वेयर व्हाट यू सी एंड व्हाट यू डू नॉट सी सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स क्विकली ओपन पेज नंबर 26 इन योर साइंस फाइव बुक्स I hope all of you have uh, opened the pages. So, my dear students, today we will discuss about the advantages of microorganisms. Some advantages of microorganisms are given below. Food manufacturing. Some bacteria, lectobacillus and fungi, yeast and penicillium are used in the production of different foods. For example, making bread, yogurt and cheese. So my dear students, microorganisms जो हैं ये बहुत ही ज़्यादा beneficial हैं, ये हमें बहुत ज़्यादा benefit भी करते हैं। तो बहुत कुछ bacterias हैं और कुछ yeast हैं, जो के हमारे bread making में, yogurt में, बनाने में use होते हैं। Bacterias like Lactobacillus and fungi like yeast and Penicillium, they are very useful bacterias. Then making medicines. Some bacteria and fungi are used to make antibiotics. Antibiotics are used against diseases caused by bacteria. For example, an antibiotic called penicillin is obtained from penicillium fungi and it is used against different infections of ear, gums, mouth, etc. So, my dear students, बहुत सारे जो microorganisms हैं, इनको मेडिसिन मेकिंग में भी यूज़ किया जाता है। एक मेडिसिन है या एक एंटीबायोटिक है, व्हिच इस पेंसिलिन और ये किसलिए यूज़ होती है? ये कहाँ से वी हाउ वी गेट इट? इसको पेंसिलियन पेंसिलियम फंजाइ जो है, उससे बनाया जाता है और इसको किस चीज़ के ट्रीटमेंट के लिए यूज़ किया जाता है? गम्स, माउथ some of the microorganisms such as bacteria, bacillus and bacillus subtilis and fungi mushrooms are decomposers. They break down dead organisms into simpler substances and thus increase the fertility of soil. हम previous lectures में हम पढ़ चुके हैं कि microorganisms also act as decomposers. Some of them, some bacteria and fungi, they act as decomposers. जिनमें bacillus subtilis है, that is a bacteria. And uh, mushrooms uh, is a fungi. These both are uh, decomposers and what they do is they decompose the dead organic matter and they increase the fertility of soil because they turn the dead organic matter into the nutrients. So microorganism in digestion. digestion. Many bacteria live in, uh, inside our small intestine and help in digestion of food. बहुत सारे कुछ बैक्टीरियाज ऐसे हैं जो कि हमारी इंटेस्टाइन के अंदर रहते हैं एंड दे हेल्प अस इन डाइजेशन बहुत सारे एनिमल्स हैं उनकी इंटेस्टाइन्स के अंदर भी बैक्टीरियाज जो हैं दे लिव देयर एंड दे हेल्प देम इन डाइजेशन माइक्रोऑर्गेनिज्म्स इन लैबोरेटरी Besides all these benefits, microorganisms are grown in the laboratory and are studied for various purposes. For example, suitability for treatment of many diseases. So my dear students, microorganisms को breed करवाया जाता है, grow किया जाता है, culture किया जाता है laboratories के अंदर और वहाँ पे इनको study किया जाता है, इनके structures को study किया जाता है for the treatment of different diseases. So they are extremely beneficial in a lot of ways. 
सो दिस इज यीस्ट यूज इन मेकिंग ब्रेड जब यीस्ट जो है इसको आटे के अंदर डाला जाता है तो इसके अंदर जो है वो ग्रोथ होती है और फिर जो है इससे ब्रेड बनाई जाती है आफ्टर अ फ्यू आवर्स यू कैन नोटिस दैट इट विल राइज बिकॉज ऑफ द यीस्ट पेनिसिलीन इट वी गेट इट फ्रॉम द पेनिसिलियम फंजाई एंड इट इज यूज इन मेडिसिन then bacteria in small intestine for digestion so some of the bacteria that live in our small intestine they help us in our digestion microorganisms are also used in laboratories for the study of different treatments and for treat uh, for uh, different diseases ko treat karne ke liye inko study kiya jata hai inke structures ko so my dear students now is the time for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so my dear students we are discussing about the advantages of microorganisms you will write down your name and your class and then food you will discuss about the advantages of microorganisms in food man manufacturing then making medicines and then microorganisms as decomposers you will write down all these roles and how they benefit in different fields you will write it under the given uh, boxes complete this worksheet and submit it to your teacher so my dear students for your homework given on page number 34 you will do describe the role of microorganisms in the field of medicine this is not your homework you will do it in your class uh so you have to describe the role of micro uh, organisms in the field of medicine medicine ke andar kaise jo hai wo micro organisms ko use kiya ja raha hai you have to tell that uh, a lot of antibiotics are made from different bacteria and viruses to treat different diseases so you will complete it in your notebooks and submit it to your teacher so for your evaluation listen to the questions very carefully and then answer them how micro organisms help in digestion so uh some uh, bacteria live in our small intestine and they break down the food or help the digestive system to break down the food into smaller particles and that's how they help in digestion describe advantages of microorganisms in making medicines different uh, microorganisms uh, from them different um, antibiotics are made to treat different diseases for example penicillin is an antibiotic which is made from penicillium fungi so for your homework you will do home activity search about the foods that are prepared using any microorganism prepare a chart with relevant pictures theek hai aapko koi bhi foods aise search karne hai jinke andar microorganisms ko use kiya gaya hai aur aapko unki pictures bhi chart pe paste karni hai are microorganisms good or bad discuss with your parents and teachers prepare a report based on your conclusion so my dear students aapko sabse pehle to ek chart prepare karna hai i will help you out how to make it so microorganisms are used to change one substance to another which is used as food such as milk to yogurt and cheese bread and fermented milk is produced by in um in um inoculating pasteurized milk with specified culture of microorganisms so uh, yogurt aur cheese banta hai bread uh, rise karwate hai isse iske ilawa microorganisms jo hai ye fermented milk jo hai uh, usko bhi banane mein help karte hain so here are the pictures yogurt pizzas bread and this is fermented milk so you can collect the pictures and you can paste them on the chart and you can also write the description that this is yogurt this is pizza that is bread and this is fermented milk so also discuss with your parents about the um advantages and disadvantages of microorganisms aur phir aapko ye bhi batana hai ki koi ek conclusion de ke kya ye helpful hai kya ye zyada beneficial hai ya kya ye hame hamare liye zyada hame affect karte hain ya harmful hai so i believe that is some are beneficial and some microorganisms are harmful So, my dear students, for your homework, you will do exercise number A, MCQ number five. What is yeast used for? To cure chicken pox, to make bread rice, to kill harmful bacteria, to make ghee, to make bread rice. 
So then on page number 34 from exercise number C, you will do question number 2 in your notebooks. What benefits do we get from microorganisms in our daily life? In total, we have any benefits from daily life mein microorganisms se fayda ho raha you have to write a note about that in your notebooks complete this in your homework and submit it to your teacher so my dear students today we have learned that microorganisms play beneficial part in our daily life microorganisms can also be used in laboratory in the next class students will learn the disadvantages of microorganisms in the next session so my dear students aaj humne tamam benefits padhe hain microorganisms ke next class mein hum inke disadvantages padhenge ki kaise ye hamare liye harmful hain until then keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz